2020, baby. Nah, yeah. Got the color, got the put. I can make the money both ways. Always, I can buy the whole chain. Go away. Got a lot of love and throwing no shit. No gain, small change. I just made my own band. And we're back, people. It's been ages, right? Uh, took some time off. Had a couple of projects ongoing. But now you're all under the bus. Everything done. Everything successful. And now we are back in the game. Taking the bulls by the horn. Picking things up from where we left off. So let's get in. Okay. So it's been ages, people. A very long time. What have I been up to? I've mostly been focused on this eToro popular investor scheme. Where basically, I put together a portfolio. I actively manage this portfolio. There are a couple of busy people with money to invest. They don't have the time to invest, so they just follow or copy my portfolio. So see me, you can think of me as being an ETF or a mutual fund, where our mutual fund is managed by an artificial intelligence model. So that's the exciting part. So over the last three to four months, at least 24 people have trusted me enough to follow my portfolio, and a lot of them are doing well. That's my hope that over the next couple of weeks, everybody will be doing well. So as you can see, we started out really bad, but then quickly gained, made up for it, and now we're doing just as well. So a few details about exactly what it is that the, the portfolio offers, or put a different way, if you're thinking of investing, what should you do to get the best results? One, you should copy for a minimum of six months. Two, you should copy with whatever amounts you're comfortable with. So think in terms of percentages, right? So you can start with 200 euros. It's going to get you a whole portfolio, but 10% of that is 20 euros, right? Start with 20,000 euros, 10% of that is 2,000 euros. Why 10%? Look. You made 10% here, 6% there, 5% there. So more or less, it's a reasonable amount to have in mind. And I would say treat it as a savings account, right? So you start small, start with 200. Every time you have 100 free, invest that in copy of trades and allow compounding to really kick in and do the work for you. Why should we care about compounding? Look at the post I made a couple of months back, right? So this sort of gets into the groove of why you should care about compounding. So this is somebody who was doing a similar exercise. So every month they put in a small amount of money from an initial investment. And over time, this is how just how well you can do, right? So you, your, top, your, your total investment over the period was around 115,000. But then thanks to compounding, you, you ended up with more than 400,000 US dollars, right? So it's a huge amount, about 75% of your takeaway really comes from just growing that money. Uh, so I always say time in the market is better than time in the market. So as soon as the money is ready, invest, copy up in trades, and then let's go. So the trading rules are simple. Um, all in all, we always stick to them. We open new trades on Monday, so the model gets to learn over the weekend and then recommends what trades we should open in the upcoming week. We only trade highly liquid stocks, so this guarantees that even as the SSM management grows, the strategy can scale. We use a 10% stop loss on every trade, so this is still highly tentative. We are still thinking through exactly whether we want to keep this or we want to drop it going forward. But now we have the strict 10% stop loss rule. What should you expect in very good years? Between 30 and 60% return, very good. And in bad years, we expect to remain flat to anywhere between 8% return. And in bad years or the normal year, we will see drawdowns here, so they are a natural part of trading risky portfolios. And we can see anywhere between minus one up to minus 20% reduction in our portfolio value over time. But then think long term. Long term, you're looking at gains of this sort. For now, we use the VEX to hedge the portfolio during times of heightened uncertainty. But going forward, you're going to explore the use of short positions in the portfolio to really guard against periods of heightened uncertainty. Granted, the portfolio is going to tilt towards the long, but with some short positions in there, it should guard, up, guard against very negative days. A little more about uh, what exactly is this artificial intelligence uh, portfolio. So the basic strategy is simple. The portfolio is constructed 
on recommendations from an artificial intelligent model, an AI model. So if you want for reading academic articles, you can find a working paper on my job or my website, babayara.com. It's under job market, and uh, you should get all the technical details in there. The high level idea is that the model digests technical data, sentiment data, and fundamental data on each stock listed on US equities, so US exchanges, and recommends what we should buy and what we should sell. So for now, we just do buy. But going forward, we will start considering selling certain stocks during certain periods to act as a natural hedge against the portfolio, so against red days or prolonged red periods. What's my experience? So I'm a PhD candidate working in the intersection of machine learning and finance. I have more than 10 years of experience trading financial instruments of all kinds. And if you have very specific questions, you can always catch me in the eToro Professionals Discord. So the link is on my eToro page. And so also given the short history of my portfolio in eToro, I do provide some backtest results which sort of paints a very good picture. So from January 1929 to around October 2020, if you have been following signals from this AI model, would have made a little over 100. So the model doesn't always, always get it right. So there are periods where we almost flood towards red. So we should expect red months going forward. And there are periods where the floor completely falls out of the portfolio. So there were during March 2020, that's when COVID really hit, the model lost close to 10%, or so a little over a little over 10%. The drawdown is around 13%. So what you should have in mind is that this is a long only version of the portfolio. So during periods like this, the portfolio is looking to buy very healthy stocks for the cheap. That's what's happening here. And as long as the prices keep falling, we will go into a drop down. But then as soon as we come out of that drop down, we should expect very good months. So there was a 10% month followed by another 10% month, all down to our ability to buy very good stocks for the cheap here. So that's why it doesn't really make a lot of sense to leave the copy during red months, mainly because you, we are most probably going to come out of them with stunning results. But then I also understand the psychology and the emotional strength to stick through periods of the sort. It's not so easy. You really learn to do this over time. So that's all for now. Uh, if you haven't seen the portfolio, take some time to look at it. You can follow the portfolio. If you trust it enough, you can copy the portfolio. And let's see how well we can do. So for now, uh, we have around uh, 24 copies, thanks to each and every one of them. Our assets and the management is slowly growing. Over the last couple of, over the last week, I believe, we've been stuck at 21,000. So let's see how, how much that grows as well. So we will be tracking, I think, three numbers. So one is the number of copiers. Let's see how that does with the YouTube channel taking off. And the assets under management, let's see how that does as well. And finally, how well the portfolio itself does, right? So we all we are also interested in how well are we doing against our benchmarks? Our first benchmark, our, all our benchmarks are equity portfolios. The first one being the S&P 500, the second one being the NASDAQ 100, and the third one being the Dow 30. So it's a question of how well have we done against these benchmarks over the history of the portfolio. And I guess we've done very well. So over the last four months, the Dow has done around 8.2%, S&P 500, 9.1%, and the Nasdaq 100, 10.8%. And our AI portfolio has done 16.0%, so close to a five percentage point difference. And we expect this to just keep growing over time. We will pull these benchmarks out of the water. So it's, it's, it's always the right time to jump in. Let's get this number growing. And let's all make some green and save towards our, our retirement. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and smash that like button so that the, the video gets sent out by the YouTube algorithm to everybody and everybody can jump on the portfolio and then we can all save for our retirement. Thank you for tuning in.
I told you I'ma do this, don't forget this shit a marathon You make it move, but stay in the same place, your ass a Peloton Make a hundred dollar phone call, now that's a telethon Benjamin's Jefferson, YOLO to a ghetto spread Yeah, you know I've been it there, who's been like a Trinidad I'm moving like a